Hello, and welcome to our Discovery Lab online videos. My name is Bethany, here with the Outreach Division at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. And today, we're going to learn a little bit about harp seals. Let's get started. So we're going to learn a little bit about harp seals today. And I have a pup harp seal, a baby, with me. Um, harp seals are mammals, which means they're warm-blooded. They have fur, as we can see on the pup here. And they give birth to live babies. They're also carnivorous, which means they eat meat. Harp seals specifically eat fish and crustaceans, but they'll eat about it. They'll eat a little bit of anything that they can find, really. Um, harp seals can live up to 20 years, and in length, they're between five and six feet, um, and they can weigh up to 400 pounds. So they're pretty hefty animals. Um, they spend very, very little time on land, and they prefer to swim most of the time, and they swim in the North Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean. Um, like I said, they feed on fish and crustaceans, and they usually hunt at about 300 feet deep, um, but they actually can dive to nearly a thousand feet to catch fish or um, run away from any sort of predators they have, and they have a few predators. Adult harp seals have predators that are the killer whale, sharks, and even humans and juvenile or pup harp seals, um, they actually are born on ice. So they have terrestrial um, uh, predators, including the polar bear, foxes and wolves, and humans once again. Um, and when they're hunting, they can remain submerged in water for up to 15 minutes. So they can stay under for a pretty long time. They're known as the harp seal or also as the saddleback seal because they have a specially harp-shaped uh, spot on their back uh, around their tail um, that's like a dark color so they're either known as the saddleback or the harp seal um, and they're highly migratory they follow arctic ice throughout the year and they can travel up to 3100 miles just following this ice um, both male and female though always return to mate every year and they mate on the coastline of Newfoundland and uh, the Green Sea, the Greenland Sea and the White Sea. Um, they females will gather in groups to give birth, and the males usually leave after. Um, and babies are, like I said, born on ice, and they live in those groups. And they're born with this really special white fur, as you can see on our pup here. And this white fur is uh, very important in keeping them warm because. The pups are born with no blubber on their body, no fat to keep them warm. So this white fur actually absorbs sunlight and uh, that heat uh, collects in their body to keep them warm and it holds that heat for them. And the mother harp seals only stay with pups for about 12 days. And they're so very, very vulnerable to predators at this time and they can't actually hunt for themselves. So they actually lose about 50% of their body weight when, um, when they're left until they're old enough to start hunting and going in the water. And the harp seal's pup fur is highly sought after and has drawn hunters for many, many years. Um, and they were, and they were um, very, very threatened for a long time. Um, but hunting harp seals now has been re regulated. Um, and so their numbers have been increasing and they're still hunted today. And that's just a little bit about the harp seal. Thank you so much for joining us today and learning all about the harp seal. And we hope to see you soon at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History.